let's redo this on the bad file. And if I can't get past this level, then I'm gonna read uh redo this. Redo this playthrough. But um sorry. Why are you sorry for? That's that's cool. I mean, I'm I'm if you're joking with me, that's fine. Like <laughs> dude, it's fine. I uh I love a good joke. Like if you're gonna like um if you're like poking a little fun at me, I don't mind. Like I'm kidding with you when I'm like, don't come at me like that. Like, dude, if it's honestly you're doing like a funny joke, then dude, do funny joke. I fucking I'm with it. Like I can I can take some um I can take hits. I'm not really uh sensitive to that kind of stuff. So like if you're gonna come at me like ha ha like you like older women, then please dude, if that's a joke you got, I'm serious. Feel comfortable doing the joke. Don't feel like you have to like um uh don't feel like you have to like not say anything. Like I don't want that for someone. Okay, just double checking. Like I'm fine with I'm fine with like dark humor, dude. I'm fine with like the the making fun, the roasting humor. Roasting. I think you're weird but good. Thank you. Like that's fine. See? That's fine. Jesus. This is stressful. That was so stressful for my part. I don't know why. No, that's that's cool though. I understand like you you're probably weirded out because you're like um you're like dude why would you like older women like it's just the thing for me <laughs> don't don't come at me I don't know why blame anime like blame Persona Five like older goth women with like that very cold demeanor oh my heart my heart <laughs> I'm 15 that's that that makes sense well I mean ooh ooh health all right. That makes sense, dude. Like, I understand, like, that feeling. Like, for me, like, um, I know what you mean. Like, no, like, yeah, I was, but you have to keep in mind, when I was, like, 15, dude, like, I think I did, I've always had a fascination for older women, because I'll bonk you. Aw, oh, dang. The women, the women that I was dating at 15 were, like, women, I say. Look at me, thinking I'm better. Um... The girls that I was dating at 16 were mostly like, so I was a freshman in high school. So like the girls I was dating were like seniors and juniors. I think one sophomore too. I've always looked, I've looked, cause I've always looked older than how I've always looked. So like gr female, like girls have always assumed that I was a lot older than I normally was. So that's kind of why like they always dated me cause they didn't look like they were dating. Yeah, 16, 17, sometimes like two of the girls I dated were 18. Funny story, before I read these documents, I'm going to tell you guys a little funny story. I went to go see the first Avengers movie on this date with this junior. Um, that's a, <laughs> a, a, a funny little story. So, um, I was so excited to see the first Avengers movie. It was Friday. Where I was getting out of school early. I was like, yo, this is going to be lit. And um, I think I had... Something had happened. This girl had broken up with her boyfriend. And me and her got close. I called her big sis because, like... Um, I don't mean to expose myself, but... I kind of had like a older sister kind of thing. Don't don't come at me. Anyways, um, so me and her were. She, did she bring the blanket? No. So let me let me. She does have a blanket though. She does have a blanket. But like, <laughs> don't, don't come at me. So it have this is funny. Okay, so she had just broken up with her boyfriend. She was really pissed. She had she was already like puffy in her eyes. She was crying for the last like couple days, and and um she kind of goes, hey like what are you doing today and i was like oh dude i'm gonna go watch the avengers movie i'm so excited and she goes oh wait who are you going with and i was like oh um probably no one i wanted i'd probably just go watch it by myself like at that time like i felt so independent like i would go i would go watch movies by myself because i was like bro i really want to watch this movie i'm not gonna wait for someone to come watch it with me if i have money i want to watch a movie my friends don't have money guess what i'm gonna watch that movie without them and um she was like hey can i tag along with you I was like, I'm going to be by myself. She goes, yeah, yeah. And anything, I I'll drive and pick you up and everything. I was like, oh, really? She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know your address and stuff. And so she uh, she drove me to my house. She dropped me off. I got dressed. I got ready and everything. And 
we had like she got dressed too and I, I i thought we were just hanging out as friends because i'm thinking she's coming off a breakup like i've already called i call her big sis like i thought we were at that kind of friend zone kind of area so she comes picks me up she actually is like she makes up she makes up up blanket action no it wasn't blanket action it was um we made out but like it was cute because we went to go watch the avengers movie and like i'm thinking it's just a friend being like friend thing you know nothing crazy and um we watched the movie and like you know it's one of those things where she kind of like she made a move on me she kind of like puts her hand on my thigh and everything and i was like oh what's going on here like i'm just probably thinking about it and then she lifts up the thing and she kind of leans on me and she wants to watch the movie like holding my arm and it was the avengers movie it was the first avengers movie i was so hyped and i was like what we kind of like i had a pick do i be hyped for the movie and because i'm a huge comic book fan do i get hyped for the movie do i enjoy all the references do i enjoy everything or do i pay attention to this fine senorita next to me and i was like which one do i do which one do i do uh it, no 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 the first avengers movie the first one the first avengers movie where loki evades this is 2012 that's how i know i'm old this is 2012 so i was 15 in 2012 um yeah 14 or 15 i think um so we're watching this movie and then like she's like leaning on me like it's very girlfriend energy and i'm like uh what do i do what do I do? She's like 16. She's like 17 going on 18 soon. Her birthday was actually going to be like very, like two months away, I think, or three months away. <laughs> so anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, what do I, like, how do I approach this? How do I go about this? And then like, we watch the movie, the movie ends. And then like, she's still like kind of in a cuddly mood. And then she goes, do you want to go home? Do you have to, you don't have to go home right away. Do you? And I was like, oh, um, no, 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 no. We just made out. We really made out. And then like, we had a long talk and then. Well, first we had a long talk and then we made out and then um my advice is really good that's the best way i could say it. like we made out like, after i gave her advice that maybe she should like really talk to her like ex-boyfriend and try to see if they can close like the deal or see what's going on we were making out like like biting her neck and everything it was really fun but like i didn't leave any marks on her like i was kind of smart because i was like i don't want her to do that but she definitely left marks on me anyways that being said um no, no, no. I would argue that's like that's high school though. It's high school shit. So then, like, come Monday, she lets me know in class, like, hey, like me and my my boyfriend got back together, and then she sees the marks on me and she goes, dude, I'm so sorry, and I'm like, it's fine, like, don't worry about it. And then she was really trying to like set. That, that's when everything got weird because like we didn't really get close again after that. Like, it was one of those things where we kind of like we overstepped the boundary. I think as friends, and though she was back with someone she kind of like distanced herself from me because she didn't talk to me as much and she like didn't hang out with me as much and it was kind of sad because i really did like enjoy hanging out with her i always call her big sis but we were still very close like we were still very very close because like when she got pregnant with that said boyfriend she let me know and she was like i'm so excited she was really like q time thing one one time thing yeah it was a one time thing um but she did she did end up having a baby with that man and then last time i heard i think that man was weird because he was like he was like 18 19 and then he was hooking up with girls that are like 15 and 16 it was weird because i'd see him at the high school functions but he was like already 18 19 and i was like i don't have i don't want to tell him hey dude don't you have a kid and a girl at home to like you know focus on like he really didn't give a fuck um she ended up getting with this like white navy dude i'm so happy in college because i i'm reconnected with her in college when we start talking again uh and then she was like yeah nieva's fine that's her daughter's name and then she was like i'm just like happy right now i found a, a man who treats me right and i was like i'm so excited for you and then she got married to him like right now they're doing well but yeah that was a, that was a story how i hooked up in high school when an older like a uh, junior and kind of like sucked because I, I didn't get to have my friend anymore as much as i thought we were going to be close but it is what it is. Royce transported for research facilities. David A preserved as a specimen. Clark A transported. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Transported individuals to be deleted from the records. Makes sense. You don't want to keep people fucking here. Let me save the game here. Okay, but yeah, dude. Like that's why I said, like I had. Don't get me wrong. I had my fair share of high school heartbreaks. I think 
I had a middle school heartbreak that lasted all the way to like 17, dude. Like I'm gonna I'm not gonna be real with you. Like like Bob, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Like I like I was heartbroken out of, of a girl so much in my high like middle school to high school that like every girl I dated after that was a clone of her in a sense. Like I only dated clones, if that makes any sense. Like I dated clones, basically. Um, Q. Yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if you know what I mean by clones. But, like, I dated girls who would, like, just look just like her, acted like her. Like, so the girl, like, that broke my heart. Damn, we're really getting deep this horror episode. <laughs> the girl who broke my heart was, like, this, like, she was this beautiful blonde girl. She looked like Taylor Swift. When she was like very like thin and stuff, but she was a beautiful blonde girl. Like I was like in love, in love with her. She broke my heart. Um, she started being promiscuous with other people. Like after we broke up, and a lot of these people were people I knew, and that shit kept breaking my heart. So every girl I dated after were just like girls that reminded me of her. Like they were into anime. They were white. They were glasses. They were like quirky. Like. I'm, I'm gonna be honest like it really sucked because I really like had a fucking I was stagnant in a type of girl that I liked like it, and I always compared them to my ex which is not fair you should never compare the fuck is what the fuck oh I get it boost me up uh, let me check the other room first um but no like you should never like I feel like you should never put somebody in that kind of like shadow of another person that shit's just fucked as a as a human being to like i i couldn't imagine me being a person and then a girl dating me and she's like you remind me of my ex-boyfriend all the time and then like her ex-boyfriend is equally like six foot like like stocky build and, and i'm here thinking to myself like damn girl like you really have a type don't you weird question do you like 1970s 1990 fighting japanese or chinese movies um I, I dig them. I think they're cool. Like, um, where was I supposed to go? Like, I don't have anything against them. Like, you're you're talking about like those kung those those classic kung fu movies, right? Like the the Bruce Lee ones, the 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 old school Jackie Chan ones, the old school Jet Li ones, the ones that are just very much like wired wired action with the flipping and dude, classic. You can never go wrong with. Any of those, any of those things. There's gotta be health somewhere around here, right? I gotta find like some herbs. It's just the, like the drunk teacher, yeah, the drunken fist style, like the blind, the blind swordsman, the blind master who teaches the the student how to see without seeing and stuff like that. The there's something on that pillar. Um. From here, but like I love I, the I love that kind of like those kung fu movies where like like they're just they're badass. That's why I kind of like Shang Chi. Like, did you watch the movie Shang Chi, the the new Marvel movie? Like, it it really feels like a like an old school kung fu movie, in the sense of um uh the way they portray the character and the way they. So we need a battery for here, okay? It really has that that feeling of like. The evil master that you have to defeat. It's kind of like, did you guys ever watch? Ugh, this is old anime. It's like 1990s, 1980s. Did you guys ever watch um Gundam G Fighter? Gundam G Fighter is probably one of my favorite. Um, it's probably one of my favorite animes, just because like it's weird. <laughs> like it has like a bunch of new like it's a fight like it's a Gundam anime where the way you pilot your Gundam is. The, it's a mesh shoot that just like skin like the skin tights around you and you uh you can move and fight it's like really martial arts based uh gundam anime and uh one of the one of the villains in his his name is master asia <laughs> love that sinking um but he's so cool man like they fight they have kung fu it's so lit i love it i love it gundam g fighter is a classic in my book i never goes wrong but it's like that old school kung fu movie where like the master teaches you and 
like he's the bad guy too at the end like it's like it's that cl that classic like my master like you're like a you're like a father to me Glad I could be of service time to go inside that's what she said um oh god no oh my lord This is dark. But no, I love that kind of shit. I love the... Master, you're like a father to me. But you're the villain. And it's like, in order for you to surpass me, you have to beat me. It's kind of like Fist of the North Star is another good anime that's that's like that. So is Baki. I like Baki. Did you, do you like Baki? Baki's so lit. I fucking... I'm so happy they have like the prequel series now. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, I was just talking about Baki right now. Like how it's kind of like those old school like martial arts movies where the master is the bad guy and because the master is the bad guy the student has to beat the master um yeah baki the grappler you never seen that uh never seen that uh anime it's on netflix what's another one um tales of ashura i think is another one where like you play as that character ashura and your master takes your daughter and you have to kill your master and your master becomes god basically Dude, Baki's so lit, dude. Baki, like... <laughs> dude, Baki. Watch Baki Hanuma first, then watch regular Baki, the grappler, and then you'll just enjoy. Due to the recent lighting strike, the power regular regulator continues to be inoperative. It wouldn't really matter about the power except for the fact that the boiler room equipment on the same grid. The equipment is so run down, it'll probably... Oh, so this, this is how we get down to the boiler room. Set the indicator to 70. Check if everything's connected to the chain first. Ah, uh, Baki. I know. Baki Hanama. So we have to make sure the connector sits connected. Adjust the panel to 70. So we have to get to 70. So this is the required. So let me just... Okay. Um. Gee, yeah. No, kung fu movies, I always find them the best. Damn it. I over. Overshot that. Um, what else is another good one? Um, I'm trying to think of a good anime that's kung fu based. Oh, um, Kenichi, The Mightiest Disciple. That's one I actually ended up reading. Oh, so close. Like his dad, I'm most powerful demon or human. He defeated the multiple nations. Dude, I like how they call his dad the most powerful creature. They don't even call they don't even call him a human. He's the most, or being, I think they call him being a creature. It's so fucked. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking love Baki. Imagine that title, dude. Imagine not being considered human. Fucking A. Imagine that title. You're not even considered human. You're considered um, a fucking creature. That one has a bunch of juice. So we're going to put this one down. And we're going to put this one up. And we're going to put this one down. So that big one's gonna have to go down. So with, okay, so I'm getting the hang of this. No, dude, Baki, one of my all-time favorites. Same thing with Fist of the North Star. Same thing with uh, JoJo's, but I think JoJo's hits a little different. When Baki is about to fuck his, dude. I 
tell me why that scene always gets to me. When Baku's, yeah, when he fucks your girlfriend, his dad comes and says, you have my blessing and says he needs to do this PP training. I love when he goes, he watches it and he's like, Baki, you're finally becoming a man. Like, whoa, what kind of fucking dad watches that? It is insane. Ooh. You are wasting your I have already claimed this place for myself. Sephiroth? Which means you are trespassing. And I am a good dad. Territorial. Oh, <laughs> no. What are you unleashing, you son of a bitch? Oh, fucking monkeys. When he rapes the blonde girl in Vietnam. So fucked. Oh my lord. Oh my god. We just, just doesn't make sense. We just can't catch a break, people. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. when he bear hugs his wife, Spencer's career. Fuck, over. dude, Baki was. Did you, did you ever watch Ninja Scroll? So, did you ever watch that old old anime movie Ninja Scroll? Past. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T virus has almost been completed. Our only they they talk so smug. Data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G virus. Oof. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the star's members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Dude, Ninja Scrolls a good one. Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. Oof. I'll no. find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Damn, the voice acting did not match the animation at this point. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Oh. Oof. Oh, we gotta go save her? So we gotta kill the, the monkeys, right? The monkeys. Oh my god. The fucking monkey. When he fights the old man and when he shows the second ba back face. Dude! Oh my. Okay, I'll, I'll come back for that ammo later. Oh, god damn it, guys. <sighs> Alright, well that was a nice place to end the game. <laughs> I'm gonna end this game here. We'll we'll play we'll probably pick this up on Monday.